When you're having guests for dinner during the holiday season, there's nothing like a beautiful, fresh, green salad to add to the meal. And, you know, during the holidays, you don't want to just throw all your ingredients into a bowl and toss it up with some dressing. You want something that's really going to be beautiful on the table and really make a statement. So I'm going to show you a few of my little tricks that I use to make a salad look really beautiful. First of all, like I said, rather than a bowl, get a nice large platter that you can lay the salad out on the platter and people can help themselves. And that way you have another chance to make it look really beautiful. And then I like to start with really fresh, crispy, greens and so when I bring my greens home from the store I put them in my salad spinner rinse them way ahead of time and then I put them into bags keep them in the fridge and then they're just nice and crispy so I've got some romaine and some spinach some baby kale you really want to mix up your greens and try to stay away from the iceberg lettuce because it's just such a pale color and it doesn't really add any beauty to the dish let alone it doesn't have much for nutrients so then another thing I like to do is add some nuts to the salad so I'll have my greens and some nice pecans are really a nice addition to salad. And if you want to boost that flavor a little bit, just toast them in the oven for five to eight minutes and you'll really bring out the wonderful nutty flavor of the pecans. And I like to sprinkle some little, well, a lot of people call them pomegranate seeds. Now you can buy them at the store. You don't even have to take them out of a pomegranate yourself, even though that is kind of fun to do. But um, technically they're arils, pomegranate arils. And they're beautiful to add kind of that holiday red color to the plate. And then of course, you must have a really delicious vinaigrette, preferably homemade. So dig out your recipe for your favorite vinaigrette, have that ready to go. And then I like to top it with some thinly sliced pears and apples. You want to try to find apples that don't brown or oxidize real fast so that they look fresh longer. And then all I do is take my apple and go all around, try to cut close to the core and take a sharp knife and make really thin slices, as thin as you can get. Then you just put them on your platter and just very carefully kind of hold the ends together and fan them out like that. And this is the very last thing that I add to my salad. So there you go, a beautiful fresh green salad for your holiday table, it can't be beat. I'm Sue Doden sharing good food for Good Life 365.